Hey everyone, and welcome back to Sudotech. Today I thought I'd mention a little trick I found out recently with using one of these batteries, which is currently taped to my chip, but is actually from a PS3 controller, um, and using it to power the chip. Now, the chip has this little battery on it, this connector, which is very handy for connecting batteries and basically using it as a UPS because it has a chip on it, chip on the chip, that allows it to automatically switch between the battery power and the USB power that's provided by the port that you're plugging into just automatically without shutting down the computer, which can be quite handy. I recently biked out to Micro Center to see if I could get a connector and a battery that would go into here and just use it to power the chip. And they said they had it online, but they didn't actually have it in the store for whatever reason. But what I did find was they had these ones for the PS3. I wasn't sure if it would work, but I figured I'd try it out. And sure enough, the connector is correct, but the pins are actually reversed on it. Now when you initially get it, the red and the black, or the positive and negative wires, will be switched. As you can see, right now they're in the correct orientation, but I switched them around. And that's because the PS3 actually uses a different polarity, I guess, than what the standard connector expects. Which is kind of strange, but it's a fairly easy fix. So if you go ahead and zoom in on this connector here, as you can see, it's just two pins that are on the end of these wires that are sticking into the little connector. And I'm not going to do it now because it's a little bit difficult and I have it in the correct direction. But what you can do is you can push down on them in here with like a toothpick or a paper clip or these little tweezers that I have. It's kind of difficult to see in the camera, but down here there is a little pin that is holding it in. And if you push this down, you can actually just pop it out of the socket. So if you just push it down and pull the wire out, it'll come out. You can do that for both of them and then switch them around and you'll have a working battery for your chip. Just kind of handy, so I thought I'd point that out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.